Today is Tuesday, August 11th, 2015, and we're honored to have with us in the studio, Turnover. Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Turnover. What's up, dudes? Welcome to the studio. Thanks for coming to hang out and perform for us. Um, I would like to know a little bit about Virginia Beach. Uh, are you all uh, born and raised there or generally grew up there? Actually, none of us, I think, were born there. Okay. Uh, Casey and I are from New Orleans. Um, 
lived there for like the first few years of our life and then moved after our Hurricane Katrina in 2006. Okay. Um, and then Danny and Eric probably have their own story for you. Yeah. yeah. I was born in Long Island and moved to Virginia in like 2000. Okay. And uh, I'm, I was born in Massachusetts and I still live in Massachusetts. Okay. <laughs> yep. There we go. And uh, me and Austin are together because... We're brothers. So. Yep. So so your story matches. Yeah, we so. chill. Got it. And what about uh, the beach itself? Are you guys like water sports people? The beach? The beach, is, the beach is our home. Okay, for sure. Yeah, what, what do you do? Like, do you surf or do you do any of that stuff? Uh, I don't, none, of us, none of us surf, but I think we all, we all love the beach, you know? We all like, you know, we're beach heads. Yeah. We chill there. Definitely beach heads. Cool. Wake yeah. up, go to the beach. End up at the beach. Do yoga, you know, build a sandcastle. Yeah, dude, hang out with a bunch of kids and whales and stuff. Do you do any, like, animal watching at all? Like, have you done, I mean, are there whales out there? I don't even know. There's whales pretty far out there. There's yeah. dolphins close all the time, you especially if you go close. You can watch the dolphins. Yeah. There's a lot of dolphins, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty sick out there. Yeah, there's a lot of sharks, too, especially this season, so that's kind of scary. Yeah. But What about fishing? Any fishing? Like, have you ever done any, like, deep deep sea fishing at all? I'm not a fisherman. There's people fishing yeah. off the beach, so like, you know the fish are out there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I guess if there, I guess if there are a lot of sharks, then there are a lot of fish as Don't well. Get hooked. <laughs> what about uh, Mount Trashmore, the park? Wow. Do you do you go there, or have you guys gone there? There's a question for Casey. Yeah, I Casey. mean, um, it's like a big, uh, like a landfill that yeah. got filled over by grass. Yeah. So it's like a big hill, but they have a skate park there, and I used to go there a lot. But that's really that's the only reason I went there. Okay. Yeah, that that skate park because you. I mean, do you skateboard or do you do other I such skateboard. things? Cool. And uh, rollerblade. And rollerblade, sweet. Are th- are there a lot of good guys out there, like people skating at a high caliber? Or um, yeah, actually, uh, a couple of really uh, really famous skateboarders now came out of Virginia Beach a couple of years ago, so it's definitely on the map. Sweet. And do you still skate now? Uh, I love it, but I have like a kind of a messed up knee, like okay. a problem with my meniscus, so haven't been lately. Okay. Meniscus. Uh, thank you guys very much for coming out and playing for us, and you can go into your next track when you're ready.
This is Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Turnover. I'm curious what you guys are listening to. Maybe some records that you're excited about um, from 2015, if you can think of it, or just something that like you've been on as a band listening to a lot. Uh, probably the new Tame Impala record. Okay, cool. Yeah. Did you like their last one as well? Do you have uh, a preference between the two? Yeah, I definitely didn't listen to it as much as the one on, like the new one that just came out. Okay, cool. What like stands out about it to you? What do you like about it? To be honest, I don't even know. It's just really, really it's just good. really good. <laughs> I like the. Uh, I like, I, like, uh, I like Lonerism and uh, the record before more. Okay. We, uh, I've been listening to a lot of like the new Mac the Marco music that came out recently too. Yeah. The EP and the, it was like two things combined, right? Yeah. He like released like his actual album and then uh, instrumental like nine track album. Cool. Both are really good. What what like stands out about him to you? What's interesting about him to you? Um, oddly enough, I really like the simplicity of like his drums. I don't even, I, I'm pretty sure he writes his own drums. Okay. And then like his style of guitar playing has always just been one of my favorites too. Cool. You guys? Guy, yeah. Uh, I can say the same pretty much. I like both those, um, those records a lot. Uh, I'm kind of with Casey. I like Inner Speaker and Lonerism as much, probably more than Currents, but as far as the Tame Impala stuff. Um, other than that, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of different things. Uh, those two were probably at the top of the list. Yeah. I'm trying to think of things that came out this year. I'm really bad with dates. Yeah, yeah, things. it's fine. But I mean, even just other things on that list, it doesn't um, matter if it's Our friends in Sorority Noise put out a really good album this yes. year. Yep, and I think true. that we, yeah, all, those are our boys. we all really enjoy the album. So Yeah, shouts out to them. Yeah. yeah. Um, the new Beach House record's really good. I've cool. heard. It's really sick. Yeah. You've heard. Yeah, well, I, well, I listened to it, and then I decided I think it's really good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you heard when it went into your ears, yeah. yeah. It's so. cool because you guys have been able to, like, write completely different records that put you on tours with different bands. So you have a bunch of different people, like, in your repertoire, you know? Like, you're going on tour with Citizen, which they don't make music like you guys really at all, yeah. but it's still kind of, like... I don't know. It's just cool that you can tour with different bands, I guess, than just having like a pop punk bill or like a rap bill or whatever, you know? Yeah, I definitely think that's cool. Um, we've always like been a, a group of people that listen to an eclectic group of music, which I always think makes for a better band. You know, I mean, if there's a group of people and they don't listen to one genre of music, they're going to put out that genre of music. For but sure. The, you know, you put out what you put into yourself. So I think that's really cool. And yeah, we, lo we love playing with bands, especially like Citizens that we've been um, touring with forever and we see them change and we change but we're still friends and that's really cool yeah and even going on tour with a band like the technicolors who are very like just straightforward rock you know yeah. like big big almost classic rock influence band yeah. do you find when you're touring with those bands that they like their influence leaks into you guys at all that like after you know you've toured with citizen you're gonna write like yeah, heavier like crunchy after, stuff after we tour with any band, I feel like we always take some kind of influence from whether it's their music or bands that they just showed us right. on the road or just even meeting people. Like we always do, we always take a lot of influence after a tour. Sure. Like yeah, after this, sure. af we wrote Peripheral Vision after we toured for like three months straight and we met a lot of people on that tour and like they showed us a lot of different music. So cool. I think it definitely influenced the record. Yeah, definitely. Always learning new things. Yeah, sweet. All right, dudes, go on to your next track. All right, cool.
so far I feel so far away I'm just so far I feel so far This is Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Turnover. So I'm always curious about bands' cell phone usage. Um, how, like, how much do you have to use your phones? Wait, first I want to ask, do you all have smartphones? Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, right? Um, and how, how much do you have to use it as a band? I mean, are you posting, I don't know, 10 times a day, something like that? Do you know? I think it's pretty widely varied. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm trying to wean myself off. I used to be kind of a cell phone addict for sure, you know, definitely on it too much, but I'm trying to go off the grid, so I'm yeah. getting there. Yeah, you're trying there. to go off the grid. Casey definitely <laughs> He's doesn't least on use there. his phone at I would all. Say really? We're all fairly moderate. I, I still use mine, but not. I don't really I don't really post much on social networks. Sure, but sure. I'm, He's the least. I check it, you know. Yeah, you want to see what's going on, but you're not necessarily like putting a bunch of I'm stuff out there. I'm definitely scrolling. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about other apps? Do you guys use like any organization apps or like news apps, things like that at all? Uh, this is like, a big BBC guy here. Okay, dude, sweet. I love the BBC yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> BBC I shoot up use it every day. Yeah. There's so much going on. And Reddit. Reddit. I've been guy. getting into Reddit. Okay. Reddit. Is there an, I guess there probably is an app for that as yeah, well. There is. Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. What do you, uh, yeah, so the BBC, you're, you're just scrolling like for new stuff or do you have different sub I mean, I'm really into the 2016 presidential election. Okay, sweet. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to get too far. No, 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 yeah. Let's, let's stray away from that. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to discuss it. How, how important do you think it is that people are concerned with politics though? That's what I... That's what I would like to know. I think it's honestly really important because I go to school for that right now. Okay. And I was so... For un- poli-sci or for... Or for psychology and a minor in political science. Okay. So I think people are really uneducated right. in politi- uh, politics and people like, they're always making comments and statements and people really don't understand what's going on. So people should educate themselves a lot more. <laughs> yeah. For sure. It's, it's, it's hard to know though what what like news avenue you should go through right like how, how do you do it well the reason i use bbc is because bbc is uh U- united kingdom right so it's like it's not democratically um or republican sure. like pushed you know what i mean yeah so so their perspective is from the outside so yeah. it's possibly and it, more i mean valuable. it's still it's still opinionated yeah. obviously but right. 
It's. I mean, it's hard to find unopinionated news, but it's maybe better that it's coming from an outlet where they're just like, oh, like totally, we don't like America, rather than we like America when it's like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. totally. The, trying to be more uh, like pure objectivity is impossible to achieve, but but having a little bit more yeah. of that objective presence from the outside. Yeah, always good. Yeah, others. Uh, so he's the only news junkie, though, or the only politic um, between I'm, you guys. I'm strictly Snapchat. Okay. <laughs> That's what you said right away when we rolled up. Like, I love Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Big Snapchat. Snapchat zoom in, or else you he invented the use. zoom in. I can that. honestly say, Casey, I was a Snapchatter, and I was off Snapchat, and Casey got me back into Snapchat. Okay, so he's the he's the Snapchatter. There we go, man. He's, the big he's an evangel for uh, for Snapchat. Yes, he's okay. a missionary of sorts. <laughs> okay, uh, these guys are on tour in Europe, like I said, in January with Citizen of. That would be next year. Uh, the new record, Peripheral Vision, is out now, and right now they're on tour with Lydia and Seaway or Sea Haven. Sorry, actually, we're uh, right now we're uh, on tour with The World Is a Beautiful Place. I'm no longer afraid to die, and Pianos Become the Teeth, and Take One Car. Um, and in September, uh, so right after this, we go on tour with Sea Haven and Lydia. Sweet. Yep, okay. Yep. All the way through October 23rd, they are with those two bands. So you can yep. check out their tour now, and then that one when it comes up in September. Yeah. Do it, dudes. <laughs>
been watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Turnover. You can check them out on tour through the end of the year and get their new record in record stores and online. As far as Audio Tree goes, we have these cool new hoodies that you can purchase online with this one and this Flower A in both different colors. So get those. Thank you guys very much. For Thanks for having me. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Thank thanks, you. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, making Brick. it look beautiful Brick. in here. Very and good. viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Shouts out. Thank you.